So the Kariba Dam Rehabilitation Project is aimed at securing hydropower assets within the basin to ensure continued production of energy, uh, one of the key drivers for economic development within the Southern African region. So the rehabilitation project focuses on three elements, uh, with joint financing from the African Development Bank, along with the European Union, uh, and also grant financing from Sweden. Uh, those efforts are aimed at financing uh, the reshaping of the plunge pool at the base of the dam along with refurbishment of the spillway and then an institutional component that will address some of the long-term issues associated with project management but also financial sustainability of the entity itself. So the Kariba Dam uh, provides water to the hydropower stations of the national power utilities on either side of the river in Zambia and Zimbabwe and this power itself is central to ensuring uh, economic opportunities for small businesses. Uh, it's been a key driver of the mining industry, providing the necessary power for further mining development. Uh, it also provides electricity for somewhere in the order of four to five million people in both of those countries. It's also a range of export opportunities within the Southern African power pool and part of the broader regional context. So at the moment the installed capacity of the Kariba complex is just slightly in excess of 1,800 megawatts. Uh, when you combine that with the installed capacity of Kohorabasa downstream in Mozambique, constitutes in the order of 50% of all of the power generation capacity outside of South Africa in the Southern African power pool. And so it's a critical element to ensuring continued and sustained economic growth and development.